harm and welcome in this video i will show you plenty of new and cool tricks and tips done by csgo pros in official matches the first trick is a deep jungle smoke from twists just simply hop onto the edge aim like shown and jump throw your smoke this will completely block off jungle, leaving no gaps to the left or the right. The next three smokes are all for the top of connect. The first one from Boomage, get into the door frame, aim onto the top of the antenna and simply jump throw your smoke. The next one is shown by Kyler, get onto the left side of the little stairs and spawn, aim like shown and when throwing via jump throw, Press your D key alongside it. For the third smoke, position yourself next to the trash can like Jackie S does, aim on top of the window, crouch down, sneak forward and release it with a jump throw when you hit the end of the dark pattern of the carpet. Rush is showing us a cool molotov with that you can push out any player hiding behind ticket out into the open. For the molotov, position yourself next to Tetris, aim like shown and jump through. In this case, Jaquinho can save himself with a smoke. Brolin is showing us a cool way how you can smoke off jungle and molotov triple alongside it. Position yourself in front of the wood, aim like shown and jump throw. For the Molotov, he uses this weird looking lamp as an indicator for the height where he has to aim for this Molotov, then he aims to do the brick like shown, moves forward and jump throw. Innocent is showing us a safe way how you can re-smoke bottom connector from short without the enemies having a chance at spotting you. Simply go behind the boxes, aim like shown in the sky and simply left click throw your smoke. This will smoke of bottom connector and will immensely help you guys on A with some pressure. Next on us 2 we first have this really common boost from Sai Wu where you can look behind the boxes on B even when there's a smoke on doors and afterwards he's showing us a nice way how to molotov on site in this case he even gets a kill with it. With this molotov you can not only stop planter but you can molotov out some crucial positions for the retake. Next, Flames shows us a really really cool smoke for short from bottom of Xbox. Position yourself in the front of Xbox like shown and then you have to work with your view model a bit. You see this little darker spot on the wall, aim with your smoke like shown onto it and simply left click throw your smoke. The smoke will not only smoke off this ratty orb angle into short, it can be also used as in lurk smoke for short where the enemies may think now a short hit is soon coming in. So a really cool 2 in 1 smoke from flames. Cressy from Sprout is showing us a cool and safe way how you can re-smoke or smoke long doors on A. Position yourself in front of the car. Aim a little bit up on the wall like shown and simply left click your smoke. The next trick is from Cressy's teammate, it's from Speedy. He shows us a cool way how you can completely molotov of goose. Position yourself into the corner, aim onto the left side of the wider spot on the sign, move towards the left without moving your mouse and simply left click throw the molotov. Next on the list we have a really cool boost from bad new bears, with this boost they get two players towards B without getting spotted even though there's no smoke on mid. This boost could be really worth a try in your matchmaking games as there's most likely an AWP aiming down onto mid. They won't spot anybody so they might say only one on B then they will rush in and would be wondering what actually happened. Most of you should know the Owenga or VP smokes on us too. Electronic is showing us another lineup for it. Get onto top of middle like shown. Aim onto the top of the right corner of the roof. Then without moving your mouse, jump onto the card. 
get into the left corner and simply jump throw your smoke. As you can see from Perfecto's POV, this will perfectly land right where you want it to. Next on the list, we have this long smoke from Apex on Inferno. I think Apex wanted to smoke of Arch and doesn't want the smoke to land there, just as you can see from his wiggling with the mouse and he's not quite sure where to go afterwards because he failed the smoke. I will show you how to do it correctly. Position yourself onto this common corner like shown and just aim right up from the center of the roof until you hit the wire and then left click throw the smoke. This will perfectly block off arch leaving no gaps left or right. Saewoo shows us a way how to not lose the orb when you want to nade down mid. Just drop it before you peek on mid onto long, then nade down mid and afterwards go pick it up again. Smart move. Another smart move is shown us from Mento. He aims onto the ground when rushing through apps so the T's can't spot him when they're not onto the bridge like in this case and he therefore can clear out second mid without them knowing he has pushed there so fast. If we jump into the POV of Shox, you can see he had no chance spotting Mantu running there. The only way they could have spotted Mantu is if they would have waited for him on the bridge on second mid. Neofrag from Sinners is showing us two tricks in once. First, he's showing us how to nail top banana from Nubox. And then he's showing us how you can re-smoke the top of banana from coffins. Just hop onto coffins, aim onto the lower part of the yellow box right onto the left side and jump through your smoke. This will perfectly block off the top of banana, leaving no gaps left or right. Another cool nade is shown us by Deathis. He shows us a way how you can nade balcony from short. Just hop onto the barrel, aim where the roof touches the wire, run forward and jump through your nade. This will deal really high damage to anybody jumping to the top of balcony. Sadly for him, in this case, no enemy was there. The latest addition to Navi, Bit, is showing us a way how you can smoke of toilets from playground. Get into the corner, aim onto the tree like shown and simply left click throw your smoke. This will be perfectly smoking off the front of toilets, leaving no gaps. Acor is showing us a nice way how to Molotov out a CT playing from this ready angle on party, get into the corner next to T stairs, aim onto the bottom of this darker stone on the wall and simply jump throw. This will push any player out of this corner right there where they can hide, so you have an easy time killing them. His teammate Robs is showing us an alternate way how you can smoke off dumpster on A on overpass, get next to the bench like shown, aim under the top right corner of toilets and simply jump through your smoke. This is a really nice smoke for dumpster, leaving of course no gaps left or right. We have even more damage dealing nade tricks, this time from JW. Get into the corner next to CT on B overpass, aim onto the dark point of the shadow like shown and simply jump through your nade. This will deal heavy damage to any T's running out on the pipe on short. This time the nade deals around 50 damage to Dexter who is running out of the pipe. Another trick from a Sprout player, this time against Speedy. He's showing us a nice way how we can smoke off Hut on A in a retake situation. Go into the corner on Heaven, aim onto the middle of the bottom of the lamp like shown and simply left click your smoke. This will smoke off perfectly Hut in this case, blocking off the last remaining T and helping them win the round. Body from the new rising double pony team is showing us a nice way how you can throw the first of the two cross smokes on outside when you're already at red container. He's using the buildings in the background of the map as a help for the liner. And last but not least, I also have the worthy gang players of you covered with this video. 
The first trick is Joko, who is showing us how to Molotov off the generators on B when you are lurking on mid. Position yourself on the left side of the shadow at the height of the bottom yellow line of the square right next to it. Aim on the darker spot on the wooden box like shown and simply jump throw your Molotov. Next, we have a nice and consistent HE lineup from Bumpski. With that, you can damage any T's running in onto mid. Jump onto the right side of the mid like shown. Aim onto the top of the pole of the fence and simply left click throw your HE. As you can see in this case, this will chip down the health of the enemy T's running in onto mid. For the next trick, we have one pony on top of another pony with NBK boosting up Lucky on B so Lucky can spot the entrance of mid to catch any lurking T or any pushing T off guard. In this case, sadly for double pony, no T is pushing in onto mid. In case you wonder how well you can spot the boost coming out from mid, it's nearly impossible to spot them. Stawn is showing us a nice way how we can smoke off bottom of B on vertigo without peeking down onto it. Position yourself in front of the steel beam like shown, crouch down, line yourself up like shown, stand up, run forward and jump. And I don't know why Stone is moving so much after lining up while being crouched down. I replicated the lineup and just didn't move around with my mouse after lining up and as you can see, it works out as well. Again, another trick from a Sprout member. This time, again, it's Speedy. He's showing us a way how we can smoke off rafters on Vertigo from A side. Just position yourself on bottom of the boxes, aim like shown and simply jump through your smoke. You have to be careful, there's a gap onto the left side where the T's could catch you off guard when pushing forward, so better use the smoke in a defensive way and not in a way that you want to push behind it. Refresh is also showing us a nice smoke you can throw defensive from A side on vertigo. Position yourself in the corner next to the door, crouch down, aim onto the crane like shown and simply left click your smoke. This normally will give you a nice one way to work around where you can spot the T's coming up ramp and they can't spot you. In this case I don't know why but the smoke from refresh failed. I went onto a server and tried it out myself. And I got it right every time. I don't know what happened to refresh there. Maybe he got a bit CS gold. I don't know what happened. But still, this smoke could be really useful in your matchmaking or in your packs. The last trick for this video is a smoke from steel you can use on mid on vertigo. Hack the box like shown. In the first window, you see a darker line. Aim right on the left of it and left click throw your smoke. This will drop down into middle and smoke off middle. In this case, Steel even gets lucky with some guys pushing it and he gets 3 kills because of it. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, leave me some feedback down in the comments below. As usual, thanks for watching and see you soon.